Oh my gosh. Listen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to SoFlo TV. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into this one. So people are asking, SoFlo, do you really think now that Elaine Thompson Hera and Shelly and Fraser Price are the only two contenders for the 100 meter sprints at the world championships? What y'all just saw was the national championships in Jamaica where they met. If you follow the video that I put out yesterday saying the meeting of two giants, then you would know that that meet would have happened yesterday. But that meet is only leading up to the world championships. Now they're on their way to the world championships, but guess what? Out of nowhere comes a young lady who every time I call their names, especially when I was speaking about the Olympics and how we swept other countries, gold, silver, bronze, one, two, three. And I kept saying Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, hurrah, and the other one, no disrespect, but I can't remember her name. No disrespect, but I can't remember her name. I don't know if those words travel on a wind and gets to her ears and she's like, oh, you can't remember my name. Okay. I'm going to make you know my name. You won't have a problem remembering my name because this ain't her first upset. She recently upset it uh, by winning, beating Elaine Thompson Hera. And even then I said, I don't think Sherika Jackson can beat Elaine Thompson Hera at will. I think this was one of those moments where she like Elaine didn't run her fullest and she gave it to Sherika Jackson. It wasn't a big meet. It was one of those where, yeah, you needed to run, you needed to qualify, but you didn't need to win. The question remains, who am I riding with for the championships? And I don't want to hear nobody tell me, oh, they're all Jamaicans and whichever one wins, it's still Jamaica winning. Nah, because if you ask all three of them, if you ask Sherika, if you ask Elaine, if you ask Shellyanne, they will all tell you, I'm betting on me and I want to win. So we as the fans are going to have to pick a side, are going to have to choose one. And I'm still running with Elaine Thompson hurrah for me Elaine has always been the underdog and I think she's still being treated as the underdog but out of nowhere another champ has asserted in 10.77 seconds according to the Jamaica Gleaner in 10.77 seconds Sherika Jackson wrote her name in history the 400 meter specialist turned sprinter is the fastest woman in Jamaica after claiming the national title in a 100 meter race fraught with controversy and real speed alongside her. I believe Shelly and Fraser Price was supposed to be in this race. When I saw the headlines and it says Shelly and Fraser Price did not finish. It told me she was in the race, but what do you mean she did not finish? She bowed out. She false started. You know, I think that false start law rule, whatever it is that they have, you false start once and you're gone. I don't think that's cool. I think they should at least be given two times to false start before they're gone. I remember seeing Usain Bolt false start accidentally and he was out of the race. And I thought to myself, damn. And Usain was pretty distraught over that. But this ain't about Usain. This is about Sharka Jackson and her moment of glory. You know what I'm saying? Because this was the national championships. This wasn't a small event. This was a huge event. And yes, the world championships is bigger. But this was our Jamaica national championship. And it was huge. And I'm sure that Shellyanne or Elaine would have loved to have easily won this and taken this one. But I feel like I'm going to tell you what I think happened at the end. So the report says the 400 meter specialist turned sprinter is the fastest woman in Jamaica after claiming the national title in a 100 meter race that was fraught with controversy and real speed 
alongside her because Elaine Thompson Hara was right alongside her. Jackson got the better of a fast finishing Kemba Nelson who dipped at the line in a personal best of 10.88. The favorite to win this race was Elaine Thompson Hera. Elaine Thompson came in 10.89. I think Elaine didn't give this one her best either. I know somebody is going to be saying, so Flo, are you kidding me? She did. She did. Sherika is just that good. And she is now somebody that Elaine has to look over her shoulder for as well. Not just uh, Shelly and Fraser Price, but now her competitor is Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson is a young gunner who is improving rapidly and she is under the right coaching and she is about to be a force to be reckoned with. You know what? Damn it. I can see it. I, I can see it. Big up to Sharika, man. Sharika Jackson got the better of a fast finishing Kemba Nelson who dipped in the line, right? All right. Elaine Thompson, 10.89 finish. Sharika, 10.88. With Shelly and Fraser Price out, Thompson Harrah was the favorite going into the final, even though Jackson had shown frightening pace in the two earlier rounds. She was beaten down the two earlier rounds. People should have been saying, you know what? I think she's going to be the one to win. But when you're established and when you've dominated like Elaine and when you've dominated like Shelly any race you go into, people are going to say, yep, I got my money on Elaine or I got my money on Shelly Well, I think Sharika is making her name known. So when she steps into a race from now on, we cannot count her out. We cannot only look at others and say, ah, I got this one and that one without saying, you know what? I think I got her as well, right? So I don't remember if this was the race that uh, Shelly and Fraser Price was in. Shelly and Fraser Price was out. Even in the semifinals where Thompson Hara beat Jackson, there seems so much left in the tank that maybe the result should have been a surprise. Even in the semifinals where Thompson Hara beat Jackson, there seemed so much left in the tank that maybe the results should have been a surprise. And it was because I watched the finals, the semifinals, and it looked like Elaine walked through like the last 20 meters of that race. And I said, I keep telling people that Elaine is running on reserve. Elaine is running on reserve. And if you ask me why Shelly was not in that race or why she false started or why she pulled up and did not go is because I think that Shelly gave that one up so that somebody else could qualify. Remember, whoever qualifies in this first, second and third, they're going to go represent Jamaica in the world championships. Remember, Shelly and Fraser Price is a wild card. She's already in. She doesn't have to qualify in Jamaica to enter. You heard what I just said? Shelly and Fraser Price is a wild card in Eugene, Oregon at the Nationals. And she does not have to qualify in this to enter. She is the defending champion. So she's automatically in. I think she gave up her spot so somebody else could take a ride have the experience to the national championships. Shelly could have easily ran this and it would have been one, two, three. Her, Elaine, and Sharika. But she gave up her spot because she already knew she's in. Now with Shelly and Fraser Price out, Thompson Harrah was the favorite going into the finals, even though Jackson had shown frightening pace in the two earlier rounds. Even in the semifinals where Thompson Harrah beat Jackson, they seemed so much more left in the tank that the results should have definitely have been a surprise. But a long delay at the start seemed to be in favor of the experienced Thompson Harrah because maybe Jackson's good start would desert her. She had one more in the tank. 
and she pulled that trigger. You know, if you look at the starting, you will notice that Elaine looks like she starts, uh, like she has a difficult start when she starts all the time. And Shelly Ann talked about this too, about her own starting, like things have to line up and things have to be perfect about the technical side of things. And this is what I want to see in the championship that's coming up, the world championships. On a day when they all kickstart properly, there is no excuses and everybody is healthy and running good. Who will the champion be? Getting up slightly behind the fast starting Brianna Williams, who would end fourth with a personal best of 10.94. Jackson surged to the front and by 60 meters, the race was over. Thompson Hurrah at this point was third, but she surged past the fading Williams only to be pipped at the line by Nelson all the way out in lane eight. So Thompson came third. Elaine Thompson Hurrah came third. Nelson came second. And of course, our champion national champion Sharka Jackson came first. So heading to Oregon, Eugene, to the world championships to rep represent Jamaica at this point will be Nelson. And then there will be Jackson, Sharka Jackson. And then there will also be Elaine Thompson Hurrah. And Shalian is already there. So now we have four Jamaicans heading out there to the nationals. Let's see how it goes. That means we have four chances of taking home gold. We can't miss either way. I can hear the pots knocking already. For those of you who don't know what that means, Jamaicans have a pot that we call Dutch pot. And anytime we get excited and it's a celebratory moment, we not only wave our flag, but we take off the Dutch pot covers and we bang them together. Pong, kalang, pong, pong, pong. I could already hear that celebration going on. There's no way we're going to miss. We might even sweep in Oregon. First, second and third you know there's something special about a country when you have the first second and third fastest in the world man woman or child big up to jamaica i'm riding for elaine thompson hurrah i'm looking forward to the eugene oregon national championships and shout out to sharika jackson for proving that hey i'm no soft soap I'm no pushover and you are going to remember my name. Keep working hard, my girl. We see you and we celebrate you. All right. Leave your comments in the comment section below. People tell me what you think about this one and going into the Eugene, Oregon championships, the world championships. Who are you riding with? Are you team Sharika Jackson? Are you team Elaine Thompson Hera? Or are you team... Shelly and Fraser Price. Let's talk. I'm out. Hit that subscribe button. It's SoFlow TV. Peace.